guys. Thanks for checking back on this video. Today I got my Wilson Combat out. Uh, just got it yesterday, matter of fact. I uh, just want to do a quick video and show you guys what it come with and how does mine look. Uh, start off with a bag. It's a little different than uh, than the Ed Browns and the Nighthawks back. This one has, <clears throat> it's a it's bigger than size and it's got magazine pouches up front. Uh, very strong Velcro, so it's actually not going nowhere. Fits two, four, six, seven. Seven mags. And I bought all seven of them. Just haven't really filled it out yet. It's got two back. <clears throat> two more pockets at the back. You can put little tools in there if you want, or maybe a box or two ammo. And, uh,. And in here is actually roomy. Uh, you can't really see nothing right now. The lighting is not this good, but uh, it's quite roomy in there. Uh, we can probably fit about maybe one or two 1911s, if anything. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much on the bag. If you guys are actually looking for one of these bags, but not Wilson or doesn't have a Wilson on it, check out uh, Midway USA. They actually have a bag. That's exactly in this design, same style and everything. I think it's called the Midway USA uh, Tactical Bag or Tactical Pistol Bag for $7.99 right now. It's on sale. Um, regular price, I think it's about 20 bucks. Still not bad, but <clears throat> just throwing it out there just in case you guys are wanting to get one of these. But, you know, not a Wilson one. But all right, let me show you um, <clears throat> what it comes with. Uh, besides this bag, alright, here's a, a takedown tool and a whole bunch of wrench. This one's actually for the grips. Um, it's got a little small one there. I don't know what that's for, but I'll figure that out. Got a regular lock. Uh, this bag is what the uh, what the pistol is wrapped in. Uh, it's wrapped in, in in one of those one of these silicone um, uh, towels, and then wrapping this bag here, so it's, they keep it nice and moist. And inside this bag, I think uh, obviously you can see the Wilson swag, the silicone cloth with the Wilson um, branding which is pretty cool IDPA paperwork I'm not involving an IDPA so I'm going to skip that for now I hate doing this thing one handed man I'm working on it this is a token of appreciation. I'd like to offer you free membership to the National. Oh, okay. I'm a life member already, so I'm all set with that. Comes with a, look at that, a neat envelope. And this is the instruction manual for Wilson Combat Pistols. I'll go through that later. And we have here a Wilson Combat 1911 maintenance manual. Uh, oh, this is great. They actually have color pictures instead of black and white that's awesome good plus good plus for Wilson Wilson combat and, and here it looks like uh, certification one of those uh, certifications uh, about who built the uh, the actual gun itself and who was involved and I believe there's a whole checklist in there and this is uh, in fact let me open it So you guys know exactly what's in there. There you go. Uh, this is actually a Wilson Combat. Or it's a Wilson Custom Gun Test Target. And like I said, here's everything that people, uh, whoever worked on it. And this gun is actually built pretty new. As you can see, 
June 4th. And today in my time is only June 16th or June 12th. So, yeah, this thing is brand spanking new. And this is a quality control checklist. This is really cool. See, for me to own an Ed Brown, a Les Bear, and a Nighthawk, none of them has these things besides <clears throat> uh, Wilson Combat. This is great. So, if anything, I could go back and see what went wrong, or in the future, if there's anything, if there's anything wrong with the firearm itself, I could go back and see, hey, this guy checked it off and put his initial there, or this girl... Um, I could go back and pretty much find the person who did it and call and complain. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to do that. This is the Armor Tough finish. Uh, for the ones you don't know, or those of you who don't know, or who don't know, or not familiar, Wilson used to use Turnball Blue Wing, but now they're switching to Armor Tough finish, which is... But they're saying it's more more of a, it's a stronger finish and uh, it wears less. It lasts longer, put it that way. More wear resistant. Important information. I'll go through that later. What is what it is and isn't. Sounds like valuable information. So let me put those aside and... Uh, Let's get my pistol out. Ta-da! Uh, let's see. There's the empty mag, and there's no round in the chamber, so I'm going to bypass on that part. Uh, as you can see, this is a reverse two-tone uh, Wilson Combat CQB Elite. Uh, I can't really go through all the information is on this right now. Um, as you, you, you guys uh, could probably find it on Wilson Combat's website as far as the standard feature, but this actually have what I wanted it. Um, there's a long story behind um, what I order and what I actually end up getting. I, I actually didn't order this gun. Um, I saw it online. It was available um, and it had most of the features that I want on 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 the build that I ordered with Wilson originally, so I actually jumped on it right away. Um, I st I wanted the uh, fluid chamber, uh, I wanted the countersink uh, takedown pin, I wanted the um, ambi safety, I wanted to have with the well it was standard with the magwell. Um, what else did I want? Well, I actually wanted a nice sights, but uh, this one doesn't. So it's actually going back to Wilson to get nice sights on. And I, I'm i not a big fan of this reverse two-tone as far as this stainless uh, slide with the black frame. Um, I, I'm i thinking about sending it back to Wilson and get it uh, fully arm tough or blued and then polished off the side. So it's going to have... Uh, black on or blue on blue or black on black but with polished off sly and uh you'll see all these uh locals or letterings or branding highlighted in, in black it i i, I kind of get the picture um if if you if you must uh think of it or look it up as in uh a kimber eclipse kind of except for the kimber eclipse has the frame polish as well i don't like that i didn't get the idea from from the kimber actually uh it was actually uh uh figured out with me and this uh wilson uh specialist uh he recommended me uh he knows i'm picky um they're very patient to be honest with you they got great 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 service uh if you if you're thinking about ordering a wilson go ahead and do it you will not regret this thing is is top notch. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, I got the uh, crimson crim, crimson trays laser grip, and this one is the uh, G10. If you guys are watching my other videos, uh, I have the woods uh, on the other ones, but this one is actually the G10 black, and I thought it'd go great. And it actually came with. Um, sorry there. 
it came with these grips and they look fantastic to be honest with you but i just wanted the laser so i have to sacrifice the actual grip itself and it looks amazing and these are g10 as well but uh i don't mind because uh, i think these look better um what else so yeah this the story oh yeah this one has the uh flash cut reverse crown barrel as you can see there it's it's flash cut off nothing sticking out that's what i mean and the the barrel itself has a reverse uh pattern or cut or they call it crown to it if you know what i'm talking about um front trillium nice sights so that's that's good and like i said the rear are going back to get it to get the uh rear trudium nice sights or a battle sight but trudium uh insert it other than that this is exactly what i wanted it um when i first thought about ordering a wilson i went on their website and um kind of figure out what options do i want and what i came down with is was a hackathon special uh, if you go on their website it has the hackathon special has almost everything that I wanted on this con this this particular one here. So I went with the hackathon special so I could save a little hassle. Uh, but they told me the hackathon was actually you know a CQB elite built with the gentleman's um, his own personal likings and and options, and it became a special package. I I the the reason why I actually didn't go with it. Is because after I order it, I, I discovered that the Hackathon Special has a uh, concealment beaver tail and a concealment hammer, which is a, a lot slimmer and lower, um, which I didn't like. This is this here is a regular high rise beaver tail and hammer. So I called them and they said, uh, unfortunately, they can't do it because uh, the Hackathon was it's, it's like a package deal. You know, you can't do much of uh, customization to it. So, so instead uh the rep um suggests me to get a cqb elite instead and he told he you know he said i could throw all the stuff you want or, or all the stuff that's on the hackathon onto the cqb elite and you'll have exactly how you want it they're the exact same gun just you know one has a hackathon on it and one says cqb elite um and uh so yeah i went with it and um the the wait for Hackathon and CQB Elite was about two years. I my first goal was to order a Super Grey tactical Super Grey, and they told me four years. That's why I went to you know to to the to the rest of the story to the Hackathon and to the to the CQB Elite. Um, I put the order in. I put the down the down deposit. Um, two weeks later, I, I I was just browsing on the website, and I I I was on Gunbroker and I found this. Uh, it had all the features that I wanted, like I said, um, as what I ordered. Um, and I was like, you know what, if this has everything that I wanted and this is available now, why don't I just purchase, purchase this instead and change the order or change my built to a, to a, you know, a super grade, um, and this is exactly what I ended up doing. I, I jumped on this, um, uh, like I said, all, all this need is the rear night sights and that's pretty much it and like i said the slide let me know what you guys think uh about this reverse two-tone here it's uh uh the original cqb I, I wanted it was the uh was all all armor tough all black or all blued out but uh like i said now i might have the two-tone going on but uh just the slide being polished um everything else is blued and nice sights that's pretty much it that's pretty much what it's going back for um and the rep told me about two weeks i should get it back and i'll definitely do an update video but let me guys let me know what you guys think because this is actually growing it on me a little bit so i don't know if i should just order the sights and have my local gunsmith do it or send it back and get it the way i wanted it um yeah let me know what you, what you guys think and uh i'll go from there other than that, this is the CQB Elite, and uh, I do have the Super Grey ordered, and it's going to be about three to four years, but I'll definitely do a video on that one because that's one of a kind. Uh, the build came out about six grand. Yes, I know, six grand, but um, 
you guys will have to see it to 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 believe it um because this actually here coming from the owner of a ed brown nighthawk les bear and wilson combat i think wilson combat has the highest grade of finish as far as um as far as detail goes they're they're see at brown it's it's great the attention to detail it's it's about i not say i would give it about nine out of ten right wilson combat gets 10 out of 10 because you could customize everything exactly how you want it it's like going to a pizza shop order the pizza how you want it how you want it um and and they do a good job on it it's it's not like you know they throw, just throw it out there they do a really good job on putting everything you want it in one piece and this is great right so Nighthawk is also awesome but their package or their gun aren't as customizable as the Wilson nor as the Ed Brown but I think for me uh, Wilson is the best and then probably Ed Brown and then probably Nighthawk and the, the, the very bottom will be Les Bear um, nothing wrong with my Les Bear I haven't shoot it yet I will but it's I, I i think i mean this these are my on my own opinions right but i think les bear has i think where he's going with his product are more towards performance than cosmetic or looks because uh his products are uh i don't want to say boring but very plain just just straight out you know workhorse and but these are like your barbecue gun slash your carry or self attack or you know target or whatever you do um you know you put you participate in but you could go to bar, you know you could go to barbecue and show this off i mean you, yeah you could still go to barbecue and show if you're less bad but this will be a better show off you know what i mean so yeah this is pretty much it uh i will as soon as i get everything back uh, my Nighthawk is being sent out to get MB safety on. So as soon as this come back, I will do a video of all four. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Rate, comment, or subscribe. Thank you.